this is JJ uh, of the Boring Trading website uh, talking about uh, 15 minutes breakout system and this is week 4 from the 20th to 24th of April uh, as usual warnings um, um, pay attention to uh, the disclaimer that I put on the first uh, video of this series this was a very interesting week and I would like to point out uh, a very important point. Uh, let's start from the results. If you look at the uh, trade management styles, the one-to-one -one risk reward ratio uh, would have given you 7.3R, which is, which is fine, which is great, but the 0.5 to one risk reward ratio so you risk one to get half would have made 14 r so it's double the amount uh, in in the past uh, just just the most recent uh, video i mentioned to this particular point and and, and why i am r really not impressed by the conventional wisdom of having to aim at uh, 1 to 3, 1 to 4 risk-reward ratio. I trust numbers and in this specific case numbers are telling me that risking 1 to get half works better, at least worked better this week from risking 1 to get 1. And actually, uh, I don't publish this um, statistics, but uh, aiming at 2 to 1 would have given a minus 1R, and aiming at 3 to 1 would have given a minus 3R uh, this week. But it's not just this week. Uh, if, if we look at the cumulative uh, trade management uh, comparison, we will see that uh, it looks as if really the 0 0.5 to 1 is just taking a life on its own and um, leaving the other two behind. I'm not saying that this is the right thing to do uh, and, and uh, th th it's important to stress this point. The Many people can't really uh, accept the fact that they have to risk one to get half and uh, even if I show them that um, this is the case several times. Uh, they just change the system um, to fit their uh, personality, uh, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but then they can't complain that the system doesn't work as well as somebody else's uh, uh, performance because they are using a different trade management style, which is more... Uh, in line with their own personality. So there's no right or wrong, but numbers are not lying, and these are the results so far. True, uh, we've just been around uh, for uh, four weeks so far, so uh, it's easy um, to say that this is not a statistical, uh, statistically um, significant number but uh, there is a pattern there the other pattern uh, that we can see and this is the second or third week that we see this is that uh, at the middle in the, of the week uh, things go very quiet and we start losing and at the end of the, uh, the week thursday and, and friday uh, usually it's the com conventional wisdom is that it's better not to trade on Friday. Well, uh, Fridays seems to be working particularly well. Uh, again, you have to go back and, and test the day of the week and see if there is any pattern there. If there is a pattern, uh, you can try to do something about it. And probably this is something that I will uh, introduce next week, perhaps. But again, on the issue of uh, 1 to 1 and 0 0.5 to 1, uh, we will see that uh, the impact of uh, fees or commissions uh, 
is massively different. Remember, we are entering the same trade with all three management styles. So we have the same amount of trade. The heat ratio, the time we get to the uh, target, is different. That means that the impact of uh, uh, commissions on the 0 0.5 to 1 uh, was in line with the usual quarter or third or quarter is 0 0.25. But the impact on one to one was 50% because the heat ratio was much, much um, lower. Another important issue to note is that in the middle of the week, you have low volatility and, and you have markets that are basically directionless. When markets are directionless, very few people make money. So the professionals tend to move the markets in order to trap either long or short and uh, fish them out on the other side, especially all the retails, uh, are, the retail business is, is, is victim of this. Uh, the problem of this system is that it is semi-automatic. You have to follow strict rules and uh, every time that the market is directionless and there are uh, attempted attempts to uh, move the market in one way just to trap people, you're going to fall for it most of the time. And this is where the market doesn't perform. Sorry, the system doesn't perform. We will see an example of this and I'm going to have a little different... Uh, analysis this week. This is a general view of what happened last week on one market, which is the euro against the dollar. The rectangles are the time we trade. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. This is London Open and this is 4 o'clock when I close business. As you can see, the end of the week shows some nice movements. And this is where we make money. The beginning of the week and the central part of the week doesn't show anything. Yeah, there is a good move here, but we will see we will see this and this, but especially, especially, I think we're, we're going to see this one here. This, you can see with all these spikes, with all these wicks, this is carnage for the system. And I just want to show this because this particular day on Euro US dollar, we had four consecutive losses one loss after the other. I'm going to see that in um, detail. Trade number one, short, whether you enter here or you enter below this low here, doesn't matter. You have this pattern, which is a, an obvious rejection pattern. Market shoots the other way and it stops you out. But not only that, when it stops you out, the system is actually telling you to reverse. And you have a big wick here. And you see that in general you have big wicks. And when you see this, you can tell that the market is not really. Uh, going anywhere and this is a fishing expedition this is uh, what happens when uh, the market I guess is manipulated uh, they want to trap all as many long as possible and just flush them out they tried here they probably they probably flush them out here but before that uh, you're still long on this The market 
flashes you out here. So you're out. You re-enter this level here and you have your third loss. And again, same situation the other way around. The moment you are stopped out, you re-enter. Another big wick and a reversal bar and the market goes the other way. Now, this is trade number five. Remember, you lost four out of four so far. And this is where psychology gets in. And this is where systems are helping you a lot. Psychologically, it's very, very hard to enter this trade. After a day like this, it's basically the end of the day for you because in, in two bars you finished the day and you had four losses. Well, if you trust the system, you tested the system, you know what the system does, well, you enter this one. And if you enter this one, you claw one back. Better luck the next day. You enter here, it's another spike. So psychology plays a role here again and say, oh, there you go again. Uh, we have a 20 point stop still based on the volatility of uh, the euro against the dollar. Uh, this is quite enough to avoid uh, having a loss. You get better here. You can probably scare to death, so you close out your position and break even here, but you shouldn't because this is a, a, a buy. And the market goes to half hour and then it goes back. See how we really need a big move with this sort of volatility. We really need a big move with higher volatility than the usual one to make money. But when there is direction, when there is momentum, the system works perfectly. So you, you have a pretty good trade here. And now the situation starts being a little bit different because you had uh, 5 plus 2, 7 trades, of which uh, 4 were, were losses, but 2 were wins. Plus, if you play the half hour, um, you would be down 1.5 or, or 2, which is a completely different thing than being down 4. And the next day, you will claw another one back with one R. You can re-enter here. You probably make just half R here. No, actually, you, you claw another one back here. And you see, trust the system. You had four losses in a row, but now you're back to, uh, probably back in red, uh, back in black you had a difficult time and we have seen it uh, on uh, on the equity curve that we've seen before uh, but if you trust the system and the system continue performing as it performed in the past uh, it's much easier to follow it and not being prey to the fear of having more and more losses so this is one of the big, big advantages of systems. Um, systems help you, help your discipline and help you accept uh, the, the losses much, much better. And, and then at the end of the day, you had another good trade and you finished the end up on this particular market. Okay. Hope you